The Calendar app in iOS is the default way to find appointments and events. Let's say that you have created an application that allows you to add an event to a user's calendar. For this, you need to access the calendar database of a user to interface with their events and reminders. This will include creating, editing, and or deleting events or reminders. The first step in implementing such a feature in your application involves asking the user to authorize your application to access their phone's calendar database. This can be done using the Event Kit Framework. This video will help you understand how to define the Event Kit Framework, use the Event Kit UI Framework, and request access permission using the Event Kit Framework. The Event Kit Framework provides you with access to a user's calendar and reminders. It enables you to read a user's calendar database and modify it by creating or editing events. On the other hand, the Event Kit UI framework provides user interface elements for manipulating events. These elements include the EK Calendar Chooser, which is an interface element that enables a user to select one or more calendars, and the EK Event View Controller, which is an interface element that enables a user to create or edit an existing event. So, to work with events in the Event Kit UI framework, first start Xcode and create a new project using the Single View Application Template. Name the project as My Events. Note you may choose Objective C or Swift as the language. To access events and reminders, check if a user has granted your application access to their phone's calendar database. You can perform a simple check by calling the Authorization Status for Entity Type method of the EK Event Store class. The Authorization Status for Entity Type method returns one of four constants. EK Authorization Status Not Determined. EK Authorization Status Restricted. EK Authorization Status Denied. EK Authorization Status Authorized. You can set access permission to the calendar database in Swift using this code. Once your application can access a user's calendar and reminders, the next step is to get access to the calendar database. To do this, you need to request permission from the calendar database. For this, you can add a pop-up dialog box or a UI alert view. When a user runs your application, this dialog box or UI alert view will appear that explicitly asks for user authorization to access the calendar database. This code shows how to prompt the user to authorize your application to access the calendar database. This code creates and initializes an instance of the EK Event Store. The Request Access to Entity Type Completion method of the EK Event Store object is called in a block. The two constants that you can pass to the Request Access to Entity Type method are EK Entity Type Reminder and EK Entity Type Event. The EK Entity Type Reminder constant asks for authorization to access the reminders in the calendar database while the EK Entity Type Event constant asks for authorization to access the events in the calendar database. Before you wrap up, see if you can answer this question based on what you've learned so far. If you thought option A was the correct answer, you are right. The Event Kit UI framework provides various user interface elements such as EK Calendar Chooser, and EK Event View Controller to work with events. Here is a recap of the key points covered in this session.